Hey, PJ, way to go. Great job, you fucking idiot. How's that, how's that, how's that, uh, how's that extension working out for you, gophers? What the fuck? That, that's, that's looking like the biggest joke <laughs> maneuver in the history of Minnesota sports. And we've had a lot. What the fuck? Oh, I don't, I honestly, I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to begin because, um, <laughs> gophers blew it. They blew an extremely winnable game on the road in Iowa. Rivalry game, trophy game. Incredibly winnable game against an Iowa team that ain't that good. You know, they're just they're just okay. And they lost uh, what was what was the 27-22 final. Um and Story of the game, as far as I'm concerned, is P.J. Fleck making every wrong call on fourth downs that you can. You know, he goes for two four. He, you have two fourth and shorts um, near the goal line. He kicks field goals on both of them. Then later on, you have like a fourth and I don't. Even, I think it was like a fourth and six or fourth and four. You know, in very long field goal range, and they bring out. Not even like the regular kicker. They bring out like some other kicker to try the field goal, and it's blocked. It's like it's not even like remotely. He, that ball didn't even get like five feet off the ground. That thing was blocked instantly. And then you know, at the end, you know, granted, kind of you're you're kind of just in in no man's land. But he goes for like a fourth down. At his own one, and you know they don't get it. You know, and you know, pe- you know, following follow along with the game, people are really getting on the offensive coordinator, and I agree. Like the, the offensive play calling is not good, but kind of like the the Zimmer Kubiak thing here. You know, he's letting the offensive coordinator be this bad, like. It's 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 not it's not all him. It's 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 he's being allowed to you know take your quarterback completely out of the game. Now there's also then the third level of this is that Tanner Morgan fucking sucks. I've been saying this shit since last year. He was awful last year. He was he he was a terrible fucking quarterback in almost every single game last year, and he's he's been given. You know, whatever, what are we on that? Ten games? He's been given the whole the whole season. With a couple games to spare in a bowl game. Like the whole season. Why? Because he's a senior? Who gives a shit? He's giving he's not he's not in play like he doesn't play like a senior. He's awful. He is he is unbelievably bad. He's terrible with decisions. I mean that he take he took that sack on the the second to last drive, he he stands there like a fucking idiot, pump faking at the one yard line and takes a sack. What the? Like, he should be benched, and I don't get why he's not. He hasn't been benched. I don't care if if, if they don't think they have anybody else. I mean, it's <laughs> play Cole Kramer. Like, even if he's not like, you know, plant, you know, even if you you know, he's not capable of being like you know, a regular throwing quarterback. Who gives a fuck? You don't have a throwing quarterback because you don't have a fucking quarterback. And then the last play of the game, Morgan improbably has gotten, they've gotten improbably into a spot where they could maybe take two shots at the end zone. And he, you know, runs into a sack and fumbles the ball, and, and that's the game. It's, it's just the awareness on the field is just unbelievably bad for this guy. But nothing's changing. Like, the, <laughs> it's. it's you know, PJ Fleck has just just forfeited games basically because he won't change the fucking quarterback. Because apparently, because Tanner Morgan is a senior, he gets just absolute autonomy here or something. I don't understand it. And I'm, it's the decision making by Fleck and everybody like it's it's awful, and it's it, it it's why this fucking extension that they gave him a couple weeks ago made no sense at all. Because what, well, you know, he hadn't done anything, 
you know, the season had he had done nothing impressive for the season yet. The only standout was losing to Bowling Green. And now since you've done this, he goes out and they put up an embarrassing loss at home to Illinois and now lose, you know, an extremely winnable game, trophy game, because of, largely because of flex idiocy. And this season is a complete and utter failure now. Because guess what? I know people are say, "Well, you still got Wisconsin at home." You see what Wisconsin is doing to teams right now. Like the Wisconsin was struggling early in the year. They're they they have completely caught stride. They're going to come in here and, and beat us by forty. It's going to be ugly as hell. The, the Gophers do not have any chance whatsoever to even play a close game against Wisconsin. That is going to be a bloodbath. Maybe you win. Um, against Indiana next week. Maybe. That's it. And you're seven and five. And then you'll play some you know, third tier, fourth tier bowl game against who knows, and you maybe you win it and who gives a shit. And it'll be hyped up like, oh they did something. They didn't do shit. PJ Fleck is a fucking failure again. Like, is he gonna just eat off of this twenty nineteen bullshit forever? Like, nice season. Guess what? You got you got embarrassed by Iowa and Wisconsin that year too. One and eight. One and eight now in in these rivalry games, and it will be one and nine. Like you're not you know, we're never gonna win a national championship <laughs> in this in this town. It's like that that's never gonna be like the, the goal of how you determine if a season is good or not. You're 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 you know if if you know, if you're gonna have a, a standout successful season, you have to do something you know, and obviously even like 2019, they didn't win the division, but they ended up with a very good overall record and won a, and won a respectable bowl game. But, you know, it's, it's maybe, maybe you win a division. I mean, we've never done it, but maybe, maybe you win it and you got to win your rivalry games. You got to at least fucking s- split those. Like you got, you, you can't be one and nine, which he will be now. And he's being rewarded with contract extensions. And he's still being treated as a fucking god in this town. Because people are just... They're so, like, drunk off of 2019 that they won't just admit that that was a fluke. It was a fluke. I mean, fine, we had a fluke. We never even had a fluke with most, most, most of the coaches for the last, you know, many decades. But... Like, it was a fluke. It's never going to... He's never going to be able to put together that sort of season again. Ever. He's never going to come close. We're, we're going to be 7-5, and 6-6 six and six type seasons forever. And this guy is still going to be getting treated like a god. And people are still going to be buying into his row the boat bullshit. Fuck row the boat. You are sinking. He has sunk this team again. And I'm sick of the fucking deification of this guy in this town. He is, he is just a bunch of hot air. He can't win the games that matter. And whatever, you know, whatever has happened to Tanner Morgan at that, whether that's, you know, whether that's, you know, coaching thing or just him, like, it doesn't matter. Like, it's it's being allowed to continue by PJ because he's either too stubborn or too stupid to, to do anything about it, to make, try to make a change. I mean, you might as well make a change now because the season is over. The season is a complete fucking failure. This this is going to be the season in which you lost the you know you know this you know in the when people think back to the 2021 Gopher season, there this is it's going to be the season where you lost to Bowling Green and you lost your rivalry games, and that's it. It's all it's going to be remembered. No, no one's going to remember that. You know, oh, you beat Purdue or you beat. Uh, you know, Nebraska or something. Like, no one cares. <sighs> like, who, ca- who who gives a shit that you won those games? Two awful losses and two rivalry game losses, which will be two. And a nothing bowl game that will mean absolutely nothing. And not even, like, not even, like, aesthetically pleasing games when you do win. Because you're, you have no quarterback and no passing game. And maybe there's no scenario where you would have those things. But the fact that they're just leaving this fucking Tanner Morgan out there for this entire season for no reason 
it's just it's absolutely unbelievable um i'm just so sick of pj flag he's such a fucking fraud it's unreal it's 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 a like i think people are starting to figure it out a little bit i mean it's, it's hard to dispute you know one and eight in rivalry games and his overall record other than 2019 i don't even know if it's 500 like like he's 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 bad he's just not a good coach he's he's got a much better situation here than glenn mason did when he was here obviously other coaches like you know before him like Oh, it's just it's 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 nauseating. It's absolutely nauseating that 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 he is treated like like he is some sort of, like he's some sort of elite football coach. And I hate, shouldn't even use the word elite there, you know. But he's he's full of shit. I didn't even oh yeah the 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 shit at the end of the first half. I forgot about that one, um, where they blew it. They had a they had the ball in the red zone, and there was a um um. It was a, uh, they thought they had the first down. They didn't measure for it. But then instead of calling a timeout where you maybe would have had, you know, you know, you could have, you could have done something else. You could have run, run some other place. No, PG just runs the clock down and then, and then kicks a field goal. Like every decision he made today was just wrong. Just, just, it was wrong. And it was first guess wrong. Like, you know, you're like, you know, you drive, you have a long drive, you're running the ball. You know, and you get to like fourth and goal at the one, and then you decide to kick a field goal. What are you doing? Like, it's it's just gutless. And he pretends he's not this way, but he's 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 an absolutely gutless coach. And he's not a good coach. He's just not. Maybe he maybe the maybe he's maybe he can recruit. I don't know. We sure don't seem to have much. You know, defense is average. You know, you know, you're, you're damn sure not going to get. It's going to be hard to get the uh, quarterbacks or receivers in here because they see what's happened to this offense. And BG flexing something seems fine with it. Letting the Sanford guy go out there and make a fool, make a fool of everybody. I don't get it. It's just, but I, it's, I mean, this was the, this, this was the death knell for the season. As far as I'm concerned, this season is a failure and, you know, the only way they could salvage it was, would be by beating Wisconsin. But they ain't going to beat Wisconsin. And everybody knows it. And everybody knew they weren't going to beat uh, Iowa today. And yet, the, and yet the win was there to be had if you just, you know, don't coach like an idiot and don't allow your senior quarterback to play like an idiot. But those things happened. And so, what, uh, it, it's still, it's been 22 years since they've won in Iowa. And it's five straight times they've lost to Iowa. And... Numbers aren't any better. Aren't any better with Wisconsin, and there they're going to get worse too. So, PJ Fleck, fuck you. You are a piece of shit, coach, a fraud, and I long for the day when you are gone.